Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this friction problem, we have two workers here and they're sliding this 300 kilogram crate across the floor. One of the workers pushes forward on the crate with 380 newtons while the other is pulling it in the same direction with a force of 350 using this rope here. Both forces are horizontal and the crate slides with a constant speed. So we need to figure out what is the coefficient of kinetic friction on the floor. So we have the mass of the crate is 300 kilograms, and we need to figure out the coefficient of kinetic friction, which is mu sub k, and that's what we need. So we'll say we have force one of this first worker, they said was 380, and then force two of the second worker was 350 newtons. And let's draw a free body diagram next to represent all the forces. So of course we have the weight of the crate coming down. So we have weight and the normal force coming up. And then we have kinetic friction going backwards because it's slowing the crate moving forward. And then we have the two forces. We have the one and the other worker. So the force one was the bigger one. So we have force one and force two. So now we have our free body diagram and let's sum the forces. So first let's sum the forces in the x direction. So sum of the forces in the x direction, we have force one plus force two and force two minus the kinetic friction and that's going to be equal zero because they tell us that it's moving at a constant speed so the crate is in kinetic equilibrium. We want to solve this for the kinetic friction though, so let's move that over to the other side. So we have F1 plus F2 is equal to the kinetic friction. And then we could even break this up a step further because the kinetic friction is equal to mu sub k times n. So F1 plus F2 is equal to mu sub k times n, and then we'll divide both sides by n. So mu sub k will be equal to F1 plus F2 divided by the normal force. And instead of rewriting it, let's change the normal force to weight, which is mg. Okay, so this is what we'll have at the end here, but we also need to sum the forces in the y direction. So when we sum the forces in the y direction, sum of the forces in the y is equal to weight is equal to the normal force minus the weight is equal to zero. It's not accelerating in the y direction at all. So normal force will be equal to weight and the normal force is equal to mg, which we just said already. So now we have our formula right here and let's just plug everything in. So let's come over here just for space. So mu sub k is equal to F1, which we said was 380 newtons, plus F2, which we said was 350 newtons. And then we'll divide all of that by the weight, which is 300 kilograms times gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we have 380 plus 350, and then we'll divide that by mg, which we set a 300 kilogram crate, and we're multiplying that by 9.8 meters per second squared. So the coefficient of kinetic friction for the crate sliding across this floor is 0 0.25, and the coefficient of kinetic friction, mu sub k, does not have any units. So here's your answer, 0 0.25.